Hey everybody, today is just another quick video. And so today I am just gonna show you how you can make these little squeeze tubes of paint. You may have seen in my video where I just scribbled with this and I also made some with washi tape so you can draw, you can write with this. So I also used it on my washi tape. You can see here. It's just really fun to work with and be creative with and I want to do some with this dark indigo and so what I'm going to do so you can get these tubes these squeeze bottles from Amazon and Jane Davenport also sells some and I have a feeling hers are a little bit better quality than mine mine are just some random brand name they aren't the Darice kind I think those are pretty good these are just some cheaper Stuff. So sometime I'll have to invest in a little bit better quality. Anyways, they come with this set of different size little needle holes and they're all color coded. So I could use this one. Uh, let, let's use this purple one. This one's a little bit thinner. So you're going to need some distilled water and you're going to need some Flow Aid from Liquitex. You can get this at Michael's or I'm sure lots of other hobby stores. You can also get it on Jane Davenport's site. She sells it. And so you just put in, I don't want to fill up the bottle. And this has got a little bit of pink in it. But I th think, uh, I'm just going to go with it. I think it'll be fine. And depending on how much you want to make. So for that amount, this is about almost 15 mils, so we'll just put in a little bit more here. Right, I have a funnel. Okay, so about 15 mils. And then I am just going to kind of go by feel, which is probably the best way to do it, but I'm gonna start with about 10 drops of this. Turn it so you can see it a little better. There we go. And I'm going to mix this up. Let's get it. Mix that up first. And then I am just going to spray, not spray, I'm going to squeeze some paint in here. And we'll start with that amount and see where it goes. It looks really bubbly. So let's just open up my art journal here. So you want to make sure this end is quite, is on there pretty good. So what you're looking for is a nice even kind of line and not really blobby like that. So I need to thicken it up. So this is what this is what you're looking for. So this is a good consistency. So I would say it's thicker than like an inky cons consistency. This is probably this is way too thick. So I'll tell you what I'm going to do. This is good for an ink brush, which is another thing I was going to show you in this video. So I am going to open up one of my ink brushes, and this is these are um, Pentel Aquash brushes. You can get them in a pack of, oh, I don't know, four, I think, at Michael's. And I just got a 40% off coupon. Uh, I have Jane Davenport brushes as well. These ones, it's worn off. These work really good. I would say Jane Davenport brushes I actually like better than these. And then what else is there? There's other ones that have come from, like, when I buy a watercolor travel set, I got one from there. And... Uh, just see which ones you like best, but I do, uh, I have tried Jane Davenport brushes, and they are actually really good. I like them better than these ones, but she actually has recommended these ones as well before she came out with her own brushes. So these are okay as well. Um, yeah, see, look at that. It's just like... So actually, I'm going to get my funnel. Oh, that's not going to work. 
because the reason so that the problem with this is that this these aren't a good quality bottle this um, needle nose whatever you call it this needle here is actually fine but this is not fine this is just cheap stuff so I'm gonna get some different kind but if it's thicker it, it works a little better as well like my pink one I just had to work with it and then it doesn't really leak I just have to be careful with it and that's another reason why I don't want to fill it up too much like you can see these just are cheap and so you get what you pay for people you get what you pay for so buy the more expensive ones it's worth it I'm just gonna see if I can just slowly do this and hopefully if I don't squeeze too hard you don't want to squeeze too hard Oh, okay Oh, so annoying. Okay, might as well just do it right from there. So this might be even a little too thin for my brush. But let's see here. Let's see how it works. Just going to wipe my hands off first. I've got this in my journal, that's okay. No big deal. Okay. Let's see. So I've got a paper underneath this just to keep from any bleeding through. And this is just, I'm gonna cover this over so I don't mind what's happening here. Okay, that actually works better taking some of that out. And this hasn't been used yet, so it's just gonna just need to get it going here. Oh that works good. So that is a more like watery color, watery color, watercolory kind of uh, feel. And so really it's just kind of how you want to how what you want the consistency to be. But you also need the consistency to work with the applicator that you're using, right? So try it out and see how it goes. I don't think I'm going to add any paint to this because it's coming up really good from here. And I might want to add some paint to this to make it just a little bit thicker. Oh, that works pretty good, actually. Um, just don't you don't need to squeeze very hard at all so that gives you a few more ideas for fun things you can do and and so if you get paint sets or really any paint any acrylic paint will work the flow aid will definitely help obviously to make it more of an ink or a liquid fluid acrylic and then distilled water let me know how you go with this and definitely try these out and use them in your mixed media projects